During this season of generosity, I often hear people say to me, I just want to give to mission. Well, me too. I think we all want to give to mission. We want to know that our gifts are going towards the work of God in a significant way. And certainly, this is mission. The idea of people who are hungry and in need around the world, we want to help in any way we can. But this also is mission. We know that right here in our own country, right here on our own streets, there are people who are in need, people who are homeless, and people who could use our help. But this also is mission. There are so many lonely young people in our world today, so many people who feel abandoned, so many people who feel like they don't have anywhere to turn. This, too, is mission. But this also is mission. The way in which we inspire our children to learn about the love of God and the way in which we teach them about the grace of God in their lives will have a lasting effect for generations to come. And this also is mission, to be able to teach our children to express themselves joyfully and wonderfully uh, for the goodness and the, uh, the, the, the wonder that they experience in the love of God is also one of our greatest responsibilities, if you will, one of our greatest missions. We do not worship a God of scarcity who requires us to make choices between this need or this need. Instead, I believe that we celebrate and worship a God of abundance who, when presented with these kinds of opportunity, allows our generosity to pour forth just like God has offered his generosity to us. I guess, in the end, it's all mission, and we should be thankful for the opportunity God gives us to be generous in every way possible.